All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And have I got an amazing video for you guys today. This is what my plan is moving forward. If you were not on stream, uh, it is 1.44 a.m. I had to run upstairs to check on my daughter. She was having a nightmare. I had to end stream. She was having a nightmare screaming for daddy, so I ran upstairs to go be the hero, and she was already asleep again. Um, but <laughs> that's just being a dad. Uh, but if you missed stream, I want to show you guys what I did and uh, tell you what the plan is for the account moving forward. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get into the channel memberships. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. If you're interested in joining, I've got a link down below. Otherwise, I, all I can ask is you hit that subscribe button, leave likes, leave comments. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're going to do it, guys. You know what? We're trying to hit 10,000. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, our king... Wampa, I'm going to start throwing it out here. We'll take him to Relic 9, right? If you guys get there, we'll hit Relic 9 on our king. So there you go. But if you missed what I did on stream, I joined the dark side. I joined the dark side. You'll notice one of these bundles is missing. We went ahead and spent all of $10 with a $3 discount. So $6.99. And we have officially started the Ray journey. Just... I'll, I'll do a mission here for the video, for the sake of the video. I want to do it. It's it's fun. I It brings me back to the early days of the Sith Raid where you get to use JTR. But we started the Raid journey. So I was calculating. If you guys, the stream I actually think would be really beneficial for a lot of players just to see kind of what my thought process is for how I was uh, intending to equip Zetas, how I was planning to go about everything else. Like there was a lot of things I was doing to make sure that I was fully taking advantage of the opportunity presented to me. I think that was a misplay there, but that's fine. So all of that said, we're now farming Ray. I'm too close to do anything else. Like you're just, you're, this is way too close to not farm her at this point. Like it, it's just, yeah, you know, like that pack was insane. Um, I only bought the one pack too. I had enough gear saved to do everything else. So again, I wanted I want to show like I'm I'm literally farming Ray. I have about I I'm about like a day. I'm gonna be really close to unlocking her. Now I did all of because I did this after my reset. How do I say this? Like I'm technically um what's it called? Like I will have I did it after my reset. So like my refreshes for the day are done right like i went all the way up to 200 um energy if you guys look in here that i'm i'm above 200 i also on stream just for a fun fact right i was the first person testing marauder it went so well in fact like it was amazing uh, it was just cool to test it i'm gonna be honest i i didn't get any wins i wasn't expecting it with a four star marauder and with the fleet i was using i was only trying to use clones I think you're going to have to use more than that. I only think it's going to be an executor kind of thing. So we'll have to wait and see, right? I'm curious to see how other players who are much better than me test that ship. Um, I think it'll be really, I think it'll be a solid sh ship to, you know, to come into the game, but definitely some work on strategy and how it plays into the off meta counters. So curious there, but What's my plan going forward, right? Finally getting here, you know, three minutes into the video, four minutes into the video. What's the plan moving forward? Well, we've got to get Ray. So if we go into the my squads here, I've got a whole thing to show you. So the plan now, I've got to get Reva still. Reva is still part of the plan. Reva is still a big chunk of that. That was one of the big reasons I was calculating how many Zetas I have, how many Omicrons I have, because I want to make sure that I get Reva and have the best stuff on her possible. So I really need to make sure I'm doing that. So Reva is a big part of that. So Reva's first. Relic 9 at 10,000, guys. Throwing it out here again. Make sure you subscribe. So I then needed to take these characters to Relic 7, Relic 7, and Relic 3. Obviously done now. I did that live on stream, but that's part of the plan, right? That's the plan. Start the ticket grind. As you can see, I've started the ticket grind for Ray. And I need to start thinking about Ben Solo. Now, not just in the sense of like, I already had him at Relic 7 for Rise of the Empire Operations. This is like, it's like awesome that I'm finally going to get to use him. What I mean by that is I need to start worrying about his mods 
and Omicrons. From looking through them, I think I'm going to be skipping this one, the Ignore Protection. As crazy as that sounds, for me, the Force Dyad is the most important. And then the reason I want Obscured is for the healing immunity for four turns. That's just such a brutal, brutal ability. And if it times right on defense, it can really ruin you. So I want to make sure I'm trying to take advantage of that. He already has some half-decent mods here and there. Nothing, I wouldn't say anything insane, right? Nothing that I would say is, like, bonkers good. It's just good enough stuff here. Uh, you know, it gets him through. But I really need to start focusing on Ray's mods because we've started that ticket grind. I already have 200 shards of her. Uh, we've made a lot of progress on Ray already. I'll be completely honest. One thing that did help, I will say this, one thing that helped a lot was... My weekly shipments literally just refreshed tonight. Like after I was streaming, they refreshed and I had almost max tickets already stocked up and saved. And then we get another light side galactic legend and I stocked up some more. So I, that was awesome. That was a real, really, really good timing on my part there. If I can say so myself. So we started the ticket grind for Ray. Now this comes the part with these packs that becomes the big problem Zetas, Omicrons, and Mods. So you can see I've done three Zetas on Finn, Finn, and Resistance Hero Poe. I need to start thinking about Zori Bliss. Now, I won't be farming Zori Bliss for the foreseeable future. Not because she isn't needed for the Resistance and it has really good Omicrons, but because she's on a Dark Side node. And you've got the Marauder Galactic Chase, which is on Light Side nodes going on right now. And the Ray Journey Guide with Tickets. I can't afford to be spending those on dark side energy. I really want to try and get Rey and her ultimate as quickly as I can. So that may mean that Zori's going to have to take a back seat. And the good news for me is I've already got her at six stars. So I have made progress. It was something I was doing because I was eventually preparing for Rey. Now I'm getting her a whole lot sooner. So we're going to need to start paying attention to Zori. But Zetas, Omicrons, and Mods are going to become the common theme here. You guys can see... None of these characters have good mods. None of them do. And it'll be a while for me to get them to the place where they're good. Because even like Ray's mods are going to have to be good. And people are going to lose mods. And it's going to be insane like how some characters, how far they fall. So that way I can make sure Ray is as good as she is. So I want to get that out in the open. It is something just to think about that we've got a lot of changes coming up to the account. And Zeta's Omicron's mods are going to be a big part of that. Now... Then I've got to get back into farming Leia, right? So I did do my Nisa. I did start farming Nisa again, right? That is, you know, we got her. We got we got shards for her today. So farming Nisa. Scout Trooper is farmable on those fleet nodes. I'll do those refreshes later uh, in the day today, even though it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll do it later today. Finish those off. And then obviously still waiting around on Drogon. I have a lot of crystals saved. I had been banking them for some other things. I've uh, been using them to kind of help supplement the ray farm. So now I've got to kind of figure out what do I do with those crystals? How do I make sure that I'm still saving some to try and, you know, make a good attempt at Leia? But definitely something to think about with this pack is, yeah, I got all this progress, but I wasn't really prepared for it. One of the things that I do, I find I do really well is as I'm farming a Galactic Legend, I'm building up my mod inventory to a place where... I'm not having to rip mods left and right off of characters simply because I don't have enough of them that normally I can accumulate and I can put some good mods on people. Right now, I'm just not in that situation, so I'm really going to have to pay attention there and make sure that I get back on track with Leia as soon as possible. Now, again, I want to build like Dark Trooper Gideon and Terran Malakos and Seer and Cal Kestis, but Zetas and Omicrons become this massive issue here. And... I think where Capital Games is going to start heading is they want to make sure that they monetize the living crap out of Zetas and Omicrons because everybody's going to want them. Same with mods. They're all everybody. They're going to be in high demand, and I think a lot of players are going to be very well tempted to purchase them, and I can't blame them. Like I can't blame you for wanting to purchase those things because these packs came out of nowhere, and they don't give you those, you know, the Zetas, the mods, the Omicrons. So I can't say I blame people for wanting to do that. So, you know, this is kind of the path moving forward. So right now in the farms, I actually am farming Seer Junda 
on stream i did two i did a refresh of her node i got five shards and i got four shards back to back it was probably some of the best pulls i've ever happened had happened in my life so that was unbelievable so then i'm thinking hey while i'm trying to build my inventory back up of zetas and omicrons maybe i start increasing relics on characters i already have like jedi master luke lord vader and star killer where these are all characters that are very good that i could use more relic levels on that i'm starting to need more relic levels on and i think that a smart thing to do would be hey i've already got zetas on these characters like all i need to do is move them up a relic level yeah relic eight is expensive relic seven could be expensive but i'm allowing myself to recuperate the kind of resources that i need being zetas omicrons you know mods the final thought I'll leave you with is characters like Jolie and Barris, where I've got Zetas equipped on them. They both have a Zeta. They both are characters that I would love to have at relic levels and would make my teams better. So characters like them could be a really good shout for me, where with, I'm not going to say like minimal investment because I've got to get them to relics and everything, but I've already invested the Zeta. So I don't feel like I'm trapped necessarily that oh, I have to put the Zeta on them because they're a Relic character. Like, these are ones that I've already put that Zeta on. And they're only going to get better when I put Relics on them. So this is the plan moving forward, right? We've got to get through Ray, right? Ray's the most important thing. you got to start paying attention to my Zetas and Omicrons. i got to make sure that I'm you know, being diligent with what I'm spending there. And then finally moving into, you know, getting back onto Leia and then worrying about, like, okay... If I don't have the Zetas, Omicrons, Forsear, Malakos, Trooper Gideon, maybe I think about increasing the Relic levels on characters I do have, and that way my account more closely matches the ones that I'm facing in GAC week in, week out. So that's the video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Smash that subscribe button, leave likes, leave comments, and I'll see you on the next video. May the Force be with you. Cheers.